Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous video, yes, we have inserted one record into database table. If the record is already existing in the database table, we got a message that record is already existing. If record is not existing, or we can say in other way, if we are inserting a new record, psi sub rc is zero, and we gave a message that record inserted successfully. Now we will add one more part to this particular requirement. Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, okay, I'm going for insert, and suppose I'm putting a order number 10. I'm going for some order date, suppose payment mode, total amount, currency. Whenever I'm clicking on to execute button, yes, start of selection event will call. Whenever start of selection event will call, yes, this logic will execute it will try to insert order number 10 into this order header table. Order number 10 is already in the database table. So size sub rc will be other than zero. And I got a message that record failed to insert. Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, why, why I am getting a message on the output screen? Suppose if I will go for this. Now customer is going for this. I'm going for insert. This is your input screen or selection screen. Whenever I'm executing, record failed to insert. And you all know this is your output screen. So now what customer is saying, if I am passing a wrong input, why, why control is going to output screen? If I am passing a order number, which is already in the database table, so I should get a message here itself. I will correct the input. Yes, this is my requirement. Now you all know very, very well whenever you want to validate the input. I already told when we started the topic that we will make use of the classical report events which we already covered. You all know very, very well whenever you want to validate the input. We want to validate order number. Whenever you want to validate the input, we will always, always validate with the help of at selection screen event. So with the help of at selection screen event, we will validate the input. If input is already in the database table, we will give a message to the user. If when the if the input is already in the database table, user will get a message and user will correct the input. Then whenever user will click on to execute button, then start of selection event will trigger after that. But firstly, the validation part we will do with the help of add selection screen event itself. Now current scenario, what is happening? Yes, user is getting the message that record failed to insert on the output screen. But the user want a message here itself that record is already in the database table. You cannot insert this order number. So we will do the validation using which particular event at selection screen event. You can go for at selection screen also. It is your wish. You want to go, if you want to go for at selection screen, it is your wish. If you want to go for at selection screen on field, it is your wish. On field, we will specify the field order number. And it is already covered very, very detailed 
what is the difference between add selection screen and add selection screen on field. You can use any of the event, whatever you want to use. Suppose I will take add selection screen and we will validate the input. So I will write add selection screen. Add selection screen. Now we put so much stress during the important point of classical report event that whenever you are going for event, sequence does not matter. Start of selection logic finished here itself on 44 number line. Then we have the logic of add selection screen. This logic I can write here also, no problem. Because event always trigger at their own time, whenever their time has been reached or whenever the action has been triggered. So sequence does not matter. So suppose if I will write at selection screen here or here, no difference at all. Now we will validate the input. Now just see how we will validate the input. If order number is already in the table, you cannot insert the order number again. Now how you will check the order number is already in the table. We will simply select order number from the database table, whatever the order number you are passing from the screen. Suppose you are passing order number 10. We will select into database table where order number is equal to 10. If size sub RC is zero, it means the order number is already in the database table. If the order number is already in the database table, you cannot insert again. Simple, simple. At the initial level, I told, especially for the freshest, there is a lots of confusion in insert. Is if the order number is already in the database table, you cannot insert. So how I will do that? I will simply select the order number from the database table. If order number is existing, it means size of bar C is zero. I will give a message that you cannot insert the same order number. So what we will do, we will write a query. So we will select order number from order header table. So firstly, I will create a structure which has the order number. Only one column, yes. So I will go for types, begin off. Suppose I'm saying LTY underscore O number. You all know very well, whenever you want to select and whenever you will want to put into internal table, whenever you will put into internal table, you require a structure. So firstly, I will create a structure type. So O number, type, data element of order number. I will end this particular structure. I will declare internal table and work area. Type table of LTY underscore O number. Now I will write LWAO number type LTY O number. So we declare the internal table work area. And we took or we created a structure type of only one column. Now I will write select query. Select. Which column you want to select? We only want to select order number, O number. From which particular table? Order header table. We will write into internal table into table, 
दैट इज नेम ऑफ इंटरनल टेबल एल टी अंडर स्कोर ओ नंबर वेयर वट इज दर कंडीशन ओ नंबर यूर ऑर्डर नंबर इज कमिंग फ्रॉम विच पर्टिकुलर पैरामीटर पी अंडर स्कोर ओ नंबर If psi sub R C equal to zero, yes. If psi sub R C equal to zero, we will give a error message. If the record is already in the database table, whenever this query will execute, we will get psi sub R C equal to zero, and we will give a message. You all know. What is the transaction code for message class SE ninety one? So I will give a message. I will go for my message class. Okay. I will give a message. Order number. This already exists. Now we will give a message. How to give message? You all know the keyword is message. Suppose we will go for error message. E is the e is the word for the error message. What is the message number? Zero zero three. And in the bracket, we will give the message class. Now, we used m percent. You all know very very well. Whenever you want to pass values to a message number, you are always always using m percent. Suppose I am giving input ten. So how the message will be? Order number ten already exists. Suppose I am giving five. So how the message will be? Order number five already exists. So how I will give here? You all know we will write the width. And which parameter has your order number value? P underscore O number. So if you will give one. This one will go to zero zero three message number, and this m percent will be replaced by one. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now this validation you only want to do whenever there is insert insert, and you all know which radio button is for insert first radio button. So I will write P underscore R one is equal to capital X. You all know very very well. Yes, this validation needs to be done whenever we are going for insert operation. This is itself a mini project itself in which we will do so many things because we are handling four database operation in one program itself. so condition based logic is very very important in start of selection itself we have written the logic based upon insert in at selection screen itself we have written the logic based upon insert now i will check the syntax and activate 